Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to Synergetic Games. My name is Natalie, and today we are going to be playing some more uh, The Walking Dead. Um, I do apologize for the late start. I went out. I decided that um, I was going. I would, look, look, I don't drive, but we went out to go do an MOT for the car. It passed. Um, and while we were there, we went for a nice walk along the canal. There were duckies. Little little baby duckies, um, and that look we there were like three baby duckies, and then a little while later came the mommy ducky, and then the mommy ducky didn't really know what was going on, so she seemed a bit confused because she was hanging out kind of near us, kind of quacking, and then she goes, "Okay, okay, this is this is probably fine, right? It's probably probably fine. Everything's fine. So I'm just gonna go after my little ducklings." So she goes off with the other three ducklings that swam by and then a little while later we carry on walking and then there's two extra duckies just lagging behind. So um, there was a bit of a family drama with some ducklings today. And uh, later on when we were walking back they did in fact find each other. And then there was a little bit of an argument with some other, other ducks. They were all kind of shouting. I expect the ducklings were being a bit rowdy. Um, so... <laughs> So that's that. That was the cute bit. And then I decided that we, we, I decided we did need to go shopping for dinner. So we went out and we went to uh, a place that contained a water stones. Um, so I thought I'd pop in and then see if my book was on the shelf. It was not, by the way. So you need to inundate water stones with complaints. Do you know what? I was, I was... It, it is a travesty. Honestly, it is. You, sh you, ne you need to demand that it is in store all the time. Um, they, they, they didn't have a historical fiction section. It like there was there was nothing in the new releases. Some of which were not very new at all. By the way, they were still selling Prince Harry's spare, like it's news. It it's not anymore. We get it. You feel undervalued. Um, but, so they didn't have a historical fiction section. Um, and they, they, they didn't have a horror section either, we noticed when we were there. So, like, where does Stephen King put all his shit, I guess? Um, <laughs> it was, it was very, very strange. They had an entire section for manga, basically. And... Harry Potter had its own shelf, but they didn't have historical fiction. It was fiction, 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 new fiction, history, biographies. It was, you know, there was there was a lot. Oh yeah, maybe they do go in the all time classics bit, but do you know what? I didn't. I I wasn't paying attention to it, but I didn't see a classic section either. Probably, probably in the, um, what's it called? Great value fiction section, because that's obviously where you put the classics. Am I right? Um, <laughs> so I had an adventure in Waterstones today. Um, and then we went to Asda and then I kept nearly running into children with no spatial awareness because they kept running in front of my trolley. Hmm. Just the shit writing terrible person shell for Harry Potter. <laughs> but um yeah, I kind of I think I think I have a few fueled headache at the moment from just being in rush hour traffic, kind of. Um, but I, I do get like that quite a lot when I'm in the car. Just after a while, I just start developing a headache. It doesn't really matter for how long I've been in the car. Well, actually, I suppose it does matter for how long I've been in the car. But I don't know. I'm very sensitive to car smells. I mean, I realise like a lot of cars, they can't... You can't help that with some cars. But you, you get really nice smelling cars. But then you don't want like an air freshener that just gives you a headache also. It's not a... It's a, it's a lose-lose situation. So it doesn't really matter what you do. Somebody's going to have a headache. And it's usually going to be me. Um, 
So yeah, um, I figured that even though it is a, it was, a, it's a pretty late start. Like to be honest, I got home about after six o'clock, definitely. Um, and I'm hoping this stream's only going to be like a couple of hours because normally we start like four, half four ish. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna get there eventually. You probably have a fan on all the time anyway. Well, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's weird because, like, we have the air conditioning on all the time and you'd think that would be fine, but it's not because it's not doing, but we have it on max and it's like, uh, I mean, that's what it's doing. It's just, uh, not, it's not trying very hard at all. Like, I cannot describe to you beyond uh, how pathetic. The air conditioning is in my car at the moment. <laughs> um, it was better. I don't know why it's gotten worse, but we just I just spent like a shitload of money on fixing that car just to make it roadworthy. So, you know, if the air conditioning becomes a problem, I'm punting it off the edge. I'm throwing, I'm driving it into the ocean, and that's going to be a feat because I cannot drive. <laughs> You'll be checking the fans first. Okay, not the brakes. Not the brakes. Definitely not the brakes. We don't want to check the brakes first. <laughs> to be honest, you don't you don't want to be in a car in the middle of summer in the well, you don't want to be in any extreme temperature without something to moderate the extreme temperature. Like our previous car, the 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 fans they they didn't work. Yeah, the there was no air conditioning, so in the middle of summer we were dying, and then in the middle of winter we were freezing our digits off, um, because we just it was it was just so unsafe. Anyway, you don't you need it to just defrost the frickin windows in the winter it's not it's you don't it's you don't tend to think about it until you don't have it like it was sometimes it was so cold our window would be freezing as we were driving and uh it's not ideal it's not an ideal situation so that car's gone now obviously <laughs> so today outdoors Oh, it was. Okay. <laughs> Someone's always hot. You do have a high opinion of yourself, you know? <laughs> no. Um, fuck it, look. He might be. I don't know. I've never seen a picture. He could just be attractive. We don't know. But let's just assume, for the sake of argument, that he is. Because we're nice people. And that's what we're going to do. <laughs> um, okay, so. Last time we played The Walking Dead, it went kind of poorly. <laughs> and I, I mean this in a... Um, in like the nicest, most horrific way. Um, <laughs> well, look, I got called, um, impressive the other day. Well, today, actually. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly on those wings. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so... Last time we played, there was, we were in a place, we kind of got kidnapped. Um, it did not go well for, for us. There was a horde of zombies, they broke in, we broke out, we covered ourselves in zombie guts. I mean, other than the blatant child abuse, um, some people died. And it was not my fault. I refuse to take responsibility. Just putting it out there. Um. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, look, you might have nice eyes. You should roll with it. You should roll with it. And you can say all the nice things to me that you want. Whether or not I acknowledge them to be true is entirely up to me. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i mean like what do you what is it you're truly impressive and i went yeah actually i am i am such an impressive individual Ooh. um <laughs> <laughs> just saying it's not necessarily a compliment i choose to believe it is a compliment look if you're gonna if you're gonna say nice things without you know actually physically saying them because we were typing at the time i'm gonna choose to take that in any way i see fit <laughs> there's no intonations no tonal stuff you you, you would yeah I mean, unless you utilize like italics or bold or something, but you know, there's, there's always that option. Um, do let me know if the game is too loud. Do let me know if I'm too quiet. I doubt that I would be, but, uh, we're gonna go. I haven't touched the volume since the last time we played, I don't think, because I had it quite loud when we were doing Subnautica also. Can use the sarcastrophe in the future if you like. You might, you might have to, you might have to. You gotta be careful when you're typing. So yeah, right. We, we, we were escaping. Some people lost some limbs. Some people lost their life. Uh, shockingly, Hannah or Sarah or whatever her name is. She... <laughs> You're so smart, um, she says, not being able to remember somebody's name. Um, she's dead. Not my fault. A carrot, you say? Oh, chopper. I do. I, d I, I said it was. it's very late. I went out. I did some things. You guys, you guys recap the situation there, uh, if you would be so kind. We're gonna get into it because we've got some stuff to do. Ooh, we're gonna start episode four. Remember guys, we're, we were wearing zombie, just so we know. There's just, there's just, there's just no comma, that's it. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. <laughs> now folks are dead. And it should I be a nice Halloween release. You are writing Adno. Adno? Chopper. No! No! Stop me! Get me! Minnie! Get me. When you cover this yourself, is mine. You Go away. Rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. She you did. Have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going. We anywhere. do need to start with violence. It's just the way of it. <laughs> to to recap, we witnessed a man beat another one to death, and we enjoyed it. And then we did this. <laughs> Me too. That's exactly how I feel when I type on my phone.
don't have time for this, man. She's gone already, man. We're gonna get out of this. Exerita! Do it! Do it, just do it. Just get it over with. Make him go. Who's gonna turn, man? I went with the really harsh option there. So I was Ken. She managed that one in a... Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Well, look. Is that the least I deserve? I don't know. <laughs> didn't, didn't like it. Look. I, I don't think I get to make that choice again. He's gone. He <laughs> knew. Why don't you just lie there and wait for the horde to pass or something? You've got a dead guy on top of you. You're probably fine. Separated. Keep quiet. Oh, good. She got out the way. I can't find anybody. I know. What do we do? Mope was with me, but I, I can't do this alone. You can't stay here, Rebecca. We need to keep moving. We got this, Rebex. We got this. Man, there. oh, found it. Damn it. Go back, go back. Jane, Jane, thank God. Stop. Relax. You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. Walk slowly. together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. You guys are fine. Just go. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. <laughs> Rebecca needs to chill out, like, now. <gasps> Oh, 
That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. Don't fall behind. Doing my best, okay? Is there a new expansion or something for Skyrim? I'm confused. Do you know, I heard something about Skyrim recently. I don't remember for the life of me what it was, but I probably didn't. <laughs> oh, they've, they've had a wash now. We can stop for a moment, if you need to. No, no. I, I can rest when we're with the others. Yeah, sure. We'll just do that. Can't rest now. Can't just stop. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? Uh, Sarah's gone. Sarah? Sarita's gone. Nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. A Fine. bunch of other people are gone. Nick got shot, Jeez. so he's probably dying of an infection. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. Can't be lucky. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. Uh, he's he's dead. You're fine. Oh, stupid. What was escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have. I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, you must Google this. Yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, do you know it's anything It's okay, about... he's dead too now. No, I don't. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just... Making conversation. <laughs> no. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We can't just abandon it. Hey, whoa. I never said you should abandon it. I just mean that sometimes you can't protect everyone you'd want to. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Well, Just you... because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. 
You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean that... Shit. I'm sorry about your sister. Oh, damn it. These people have a great habit nothing. of, like, I know, I know. Be putting their soon. foot in their mouths. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. How's Kenny? He has lost I it. I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. He meant every word. He always does. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you felt was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. Oh no, scary music. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Well... Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. She would have died anyway, I'm just saying. Being angry won't help anything. No, nope, because it's sure as hell helping me. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, you will magically go away? That's not how it works. Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. Okie dokie, Kenny. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Not well. You probably saw. Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you tried. Still, it doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're going to do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, hurry. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Oh. Rebecca needs a safe, warm place to have her baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find one. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clem will scout ahead and double back. Just make sure you're ready to move when we get here. Get Kenny all happy again. Yeah, that's exactly... I would love to leave a small child in Kenny's care. That sounds safe. Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here... You got something to protect yourself? Maybe Clem is the problem. Is. I don't think I'd need to. I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Hmm. You're sick and so is just like, oh, bless you. I hope you're having plenty of fluids. Look, I'm on a level with you. There's no real point in scouting ahead. And you should know that finding your friends 
That's a shot in the dark. It's happened before. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. He's always been a liability. Let's this be real. Situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. I and like you doubt said, she had a choice. It's her baby, not mine or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew, but groups fall apart. People get killed. <laughs> I think everyone is quite then, capable of being a serial killer in an apocalyptic situation. I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. <laughs> she did too. I always wanted a sister. I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. It was stupid kid stuff. You know, being a big sister <laughs> is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut give her the bad haircut on purpose I mean I did put the gum there I figured I should get it out I don't even know why is that really what it's like having a sister no no it's not all bad but what could I do she thought I was her best friend Aww. I could go unpunished <laughs> every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia but the best part wasn't the rides it was that nobody knew us there, and I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. Hey, wait a minute. I recognize this motel. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently, they weren't walkers, were they? Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. They might. Did you have See what to stab it through the eye? Check this one. We are learning things. Hold on to them. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses, two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Done. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? Pretty much, yeah. You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better. 
I think. That was when I got my hair cut like this. That's it. We were fine until we found Kenny yeah, again. Right. <laughs> These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. She grabbed my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> so if you're right for digging around people's handbags, just putting it out there. No, you're you're not wrong. <laughs> we were we were fine. You can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Hello. <gasps> Sarah's glasses. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. We have to tell the others. She did get swarmed. Shit. Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. How about we Looks like there's an opening over climb there. the car? Is that Nick? Oh, no. Oh god damn it. He probably died from his wounds. Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. I'm sorry, Nick. Oh dear. It didn't work out. It's a little bit of brain. Better. It's all right. It's done. If it comes to it. If Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? I know. I've done this before. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Ooh, a screwdriver. Very effective. We can do this. Screwdrivers have gotten stuck before, I'll have you know. I mean, Lee had a screwdriver. Calm down. They don't sound too good. The clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? <laughs> what did I do, Sarah? Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. You've got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first, then we're gonna get put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Or the All front, right. depending on which way it lands, but okay. Daddy. It's gonna take some work to get over there. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. Too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. Get away! Mm. Let's see if we can find anything over there. <laughs> yeah, well, that was to be expected. Uh, 
Trick when you're short. That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And well, there's a lot of shouting. The of the dead? Oh, no. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? If you think that's best. I'm with you. Good. No! What's going to grab their attention? Uh, I got you covered. The radio, I guess. Can't help you if you. Yeah, I can't it does look pretty strong. What if we punch it? Not nearly enough noise. Is there going to be something in the truck? And go. No key. Good, but we need oh, to keep look, there's Kenny, and there's... Is there, like, anywhere else? No, it's... Okay. Oh, the key's in the back there. For some reason. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to... I don't know, Kenny. Do you have keys? Just listen to me. What are you thinking? Did you, uh, Why are you make sure? Like this? Who do you think you're talking to? Of course I f***ing did. <laughs> did you make sure they're down? Does it? Dead Walker. Thank thinking? you. We should search him. Sarah, what the hell? Not all of them are winners. Mm -hmm. get, get up. What about you? Are you a winner? Probably not. We can get around this way, but if we don't get those walkers to move. We're not getting very far. Well, maybe there's something in the house. We haven't checked there yet. Well, what am I looking for? See if you can put a walker on the horn. <laughs> hmm. Get it together. Maybe we can. I thinking? haven't played this, but uh if we lean put it on the horn, horn. it'll keep we talking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Yeah, if we could set the truck on fire, that too would be great. Not like this. You Farah, stop! Farah! It's working! It sure is! Move now! Come on! Come on. Go for the knee. 
Go for it. Crap. We gotta move it. Handless arm. It's locked. Then try something else. Hey, are you guys in there? I don't think that's getting through to them. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Kick it. Yeah. Hurry. I have now broken the door. By the way, God. Help me block this. Hurry. Uh, sorry. Not hurrying enough. There. Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. Whoopsie. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come and take what's left of us. Luke, are you all right? Uh, I'm walking. Can't do much else now. Sarah, she's another story. I, I don't know what to do about her. She is What's gone there? mental. You gotta help. She cannot see. She cannot be reasoned with without her glasses. Look, look it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. They're, they're okay. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... Uh, She's just traumatized. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while she saw this mobile home, made a beeline right for it. I'm just glad y'all are here. They're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? Sarah, get your shit together. We gotta do something. What if we help her to her feet and just get her moving? No, no, it, it's not gonna work, okay? She freaks out anytime you get near her. Listen, I, uh, they're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay, so we, we gotta get her up or, or we gotta. Well, I've been trying, I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Fine. Sarah, it's me. Hi. I need you to listen to me, okay? It's important. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Ever since the walkers, so many people I know have died. People I love. And for stupid reasons. Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. We can't be kids anymore, Sarah. We need to grow up, or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight, now! Come on, I'll boost you. Oh my God. Uh, What's going on back there? God oh, damn it, Luke, why? We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here, help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. Can we use this? It's not big enough. Uh, uh the, bridge. the bridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Uh, Sarah? Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Just kind of occupado there. Putting it out there. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Q, 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 faster! Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! 
Oh god, um... Okay, go, go! Keep pushing, go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Sarah. I can't, I can't, I can't! Daddy! Don't make me leave you. Come on. Dying like this is stupid. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! <gasps> oh, move! <laughs> Clementine! <laughs> grab her! <laughs> My dad hit me once. Yes, it's always it's always good to rely on trauma, you know? That'll get anyone to move. Uh, uh, okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. You've got to start trying. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can well, look, that? nobody is, okay? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem. I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just, I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. Dude, we I said go first. Across four states. <laughs> and every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. Or push her. Or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us. Forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. When all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Oh, I missed that one. 
Sarah's not dangerous, but she could be. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Children are our future, remember? Look, there's the future right there. That's gonna be a father, isn't it? Son of a bitch. You found him. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, just glad you're here. But mm. wait, wait, where's Nick? <sighs> Didn't make it. Uh, Rebecca, how about we uh we go for a walk for a minute? I I don't want to do the walking Let's thing. Just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about too. <laughs> no, no. I didn't think I she cared sure about Nick this. that much. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He's gone to lie in a lake or something. I don't know. He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. Yeah, but you I don't think understand. If it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. <sighs> Uh, axed his lady putting it out there hey kenny i have these bullets do you know anything about babies <laughs> oh he's getting all zen in the corner well not zen quite really We need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death? Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. Kenny, we can arrange that after, okay? And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me. All the time. I need you. <clears throat> I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. <laughs> but, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. It looks like it must hurt. Well, oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Well, that conversation went better than I thought. We should see what's going on. Oh, he ran away. <laughs> Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. 
What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. <sighs> oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. Is thank right? you. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. Let's do it, we have no choice. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah. Sarah, you stay Just there. Just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her, make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much, and she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust her. Trust Jane. Brave choice. Yeah, I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? I want to check on Sarah. I'll help everyone else, too. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Let's do this. Honestly, it's probably good that Nick's not here. He would be freaking out more than anyone. Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting to- You were going to leave me, weren't you? Jane didn't mean what she said. I think she gets scared too, about what might happen. How come you didn't leave me? Because you're pathetic, that's why. Did you want me to? You just want my dad. I know. When he, when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Sarah, to your dad, you know he isn't coming, right? Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. The others could really use a hand scout for supplies. Let's help. Oh, God. I'll go help Jane. Good. Don't be too long if you can help it. I worry about Mike and Bonnie, but... Rich Park Benches. Occupado. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Let's do it. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. Because I may leave at any minute. I hope this place is what we're looking for. Partnerships dissolve all the time. Break. Oh, 
Not to be bleak or anything, but it's true. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was left in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mm. Oh, don't say anything. <laughs> pick the lock. The nail file versatility is not overrated. Surely, you know, if you uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. You might need to bust the mechanism. Uh, I've got an axe. Unless I don't have my axe anymore and all I have is bullet. Find anything? No, not even trash. Well, I guess nobody came here ever. When will it end? Okay, I guess the only option is the cannon. I guess it's broken. Uh, I think you need to feed it. Need money. Money, money, money. Ow, shit. You okay? Yeah. Oh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Please allow me to destroy public property. It'll be fine. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Oh, what? What? Lame. Oh, is the... Oh, for a second I was like, oh, is the door open? That would have been funny. Uh, what about this one? What There's if? some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Watch Keep the... It in mind, Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Boodaf. Boodaf is this. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Can we fight him? Could be too risky. I didn't get a good look at him. We should scope him out and see what he's up to. Bro, he's really limping. Some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Love a conversation. Dude has a brace. Hey. I just want to talk to you. Do you understand me? Yes. Oh. Hi, Marvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. Hello, Arve. Especially Malinka Devochka. A little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, 
Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Maybe he has a key. Oh, what the fuck? No, I have no more guns. I swear to Anything? Like a lot of drugs. Like Whoa. so many. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you might. Just return it, okay? You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Push it. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I'm taking, I'm just, I'm gonna keep this though, this gun. This is, the, you know, we need this. You apparently have friends. I can't friends. believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We should go get everyone else. Yeah. We still have the problem of getting inside the thing. <laughs> oh we'll yes, the, the sports ball bag. <laughs> we need to get this place open, and we need to get moved in ASAP. that observation dick Clem, hey i was just checking on rebecca and kenny they said they hadn't heard from him in a while i don't guess there'd be much but jane seems pretty resourceful the deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight where rebecca could have the baby at least if we can't find something better i guess that's something i should check it out is jane still up there now yeah she's trying to get the gift shop open you know i can't figure her out Neither can I. And she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. And broken he, people get reckless. He is. Very. You, know, you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Yeah. He always tries to do the right thing, but he's not the same anymore. Well, I'm glad you see it too. I saw, saw it from day one when he refused to acknowledge that Duck existed. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh... Or, well, he acknowledges it, he just doesn't tell anyone. It's the kind of secret you keep, right, surely? From your... lady? supposed to be in labor yet kenny what if something's wrong nothing's wrong babies know how to be born yeah Clementine. kenny what'd you find the building around back has an observation deck somewhere the baby will be safer 
It's coming so much faster than I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Take Lem. Where's Sarah gone? She's disappeared. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Eh, well. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. Oh, we shit. ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them. But I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Where's Sarah? Just real quick. Let's just go. We'll just go. Hello, Mike and Bonnie. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a stroll for 1.2 miles. Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby, an observation deck with the gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like 10 more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Ooh, a keychain. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. Why would I want that for funsies, obviously? It's like people going around collecting number plates. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. What is, is this the bin? I think it's a bin. We're gonna search the trash, guys. We're gonna search the trash. Really slowly. Do you think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? No, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Because I like you, Bonnie. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. Okay, nothing in the extinguisher. There have sure been some animals through here. Mm. Set. There may be poop. No promises. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. I love broken glass. It's like my favorite thing, next to not broken glass. Lee would have loved this place. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. Fire the cannon. Ooh, a thing. Yeah, true enough. Look at this, an old coat. Nice, good plan, Clem. You should hang on to that. 
It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Uh... I'm not gonna blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. When you finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was, that's something. Yeah. 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 I found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, I don't think it matters. You can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Well, we'll cover it in mud or something. I don't know. Babies like dirt, surely. What if we took a cannonball for no reason other than we can? Oh, good. Now he's away from the door. I can now access it. Jesus. Avoid conscription. Join the park rangers. <laughs> There's water over here. Water bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. Is it always me? I could me? open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Ugh. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will she, carry those things out. She very much has an ugh expression on her face right now. I don't know how I'm going to... I'm stuck. You will, well, you would be conscripted. I'm sure they would figure it out. No! Shock! Shock horror! Oh, you could do the door thing then. I don't. Oh. I still have my screwdriver then. Well. Didn't make that much noise, did it? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Guess I'm not quite as small as I used to be. But you're tough for your size. Shit. You're tough for my size. I'm sorry <laughs> if I asked you. I won't do it again. Well, <laughs> At least now we got something to bring back. Lots I'll of water. In the other room. And a coat. No, we Look can just go place. now. We can just go. I nearly got eight. No, we can do. We can do this. I got this. Okay, I'll protect you while you carry the heavy stuff. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. Just, that baby's going to be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. Come Please on. tell me you found a Take wheelbarrow on. or something. They just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean... Just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. <laughs> Fresh meat would go a long way. A likely that. story. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think 
went over there. There he is. He's coming your way. Block him. Oh, oh, sh shoot. Dang it. Leave the poor the thing. Out there. <laughs> Little baby raccoon. May you live with rabies I in peace. Than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. Uh, Bonnie, would you like to take one of these? You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. No! No! Shit! Shit! Oh, God! Breathe like I told you. Okay. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Clem! Clementine! Shit! Walkers! How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke! Kenny, we've got to do something! You just keep that baby safe. Kenny? We can't stay here! Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you! Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God, there's so many. Mike, help Kenny. On it. We can, we can... Get going. We can deal with the water situation later. can stop beating the dead one now and beat the other dead ones. Kenny. Come on, man. Let's go. Some protecting, you know. Everyone always in Letterman jacket. That's about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. Je Jesus, Clem, it, it's just not. Uh, Luke? It, it just happened. It, it, I wasn't. Uh, <gasps> wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? Sitting. What's going on? We we're just sitting. How many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for? Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. Yes, now. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to it. I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. They could stand to close the second gate, you know. Oh no, not the big one. What is that in the sky? Find something to block this gate! Help us! We could block the gate with this! I'll help, I'll come. Together, ready? Oh, oh, okay. Let's cue this up, shall we? Well... That'll do it. Get back! Get back! Oh shit! Oh. Gee! Sarah, hang on! Fuck! Fuck! Hurry! I 
to help Sarah. Exactly. There's nothing we could have done. We could never have gotten her up here. I know. But I wish it could be different. Push! Oh, shit. They're climbing up. What? They're gonna what? make it up here. Fuck! Does this shit ever end? Uh... Else on them? Nothing that will stop them. Maybe we can drop the whole deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. Oh, she does have the axe still. Ain't gonna work. It's too thick. Let's do this. They're getting closer. Clementine. One's in destruction. Let's do it. Come on. I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it. Son of a bitch. Ooh. So Sarah. That balances out the group numbers. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hey, thank you for following. Oh, Welcome me. in. I'm a Rolos. This was entirely too stressful. Welcome in. How are you? Sorry, I was dealing with a thing. Uh, lots of zombies. <gasps> right, okay. Now the next problem. How do we get down again? How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. No, it's you're not. Warm. You're not. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know. About the color. You really think I care about that? Well, you might. Do you want to hold him? <laughs> yes, please. Could I? Of course. <laughs> Your family here. Let's call him Lee. A big sister. <laughs> Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. But somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Baby smell. So, look, it was really, really important that we left Sarah, we let, we, we got her to come with us because, like, oh, shit. she was lunch. That was a great distraction. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm making the best of a bad go. situation here. 
What about Luke? What about him? Aren't you guys... Look, Luke's a nice guy, but it's not like that. And it can't ever be like that. Oh. Well, that's it then. You know, Jamie, Sarah, I'm not gonna stick around and... and watch it happen to you two. You know the score. But I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. Good conversation to have. You feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. But when push comes to shove... I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe. Looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. I have my nail file. Thanks. Yeah. I, um... Uh, Versatility. Still could use Krista, though. She's still gone. It'd be nice if we had Krista. Like, I was never her biggest fan, but I liked her. Hey, thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? Jane's gone. I'm fine. Okay, good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. Eh, yeah, problem with that. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? You know what Jane's like. She Damn just, it! Just slip, slip out places. Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I'm sorry. Just, Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kate. You know what? Just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit Jane, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north. Get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Let me put you, just hand me the baby, will you? That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from you. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. I'll be fine. If there's a chance there's food, we have to risk it. She is still not wearing that coat. Okay, fine, if that's what you want. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. Why don't we just leave Rebecca here, find somewhere to be, 
and then come back and get her. Because she's like in a crow's nest at the moment. She's fine. She's just going to be cold. Like, super cold. Because it's, it's right. snowing. Okay, Bex. It's going to be all right. <laughs> It's a pretty sturdy crow's nest, too. She's oh, good. Exhausted. She's in the coat now. Good. We all are. I can keep going. Crap. Rebecca looks not very well. Should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't going to get no better back there. We got to find food. Get her someplace warm. This look like someplace warm to you? We can still turn back. That's not an option. Luke, I will Everybody beat you to there. death. We I'm gotta keep just... moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Kenny's right. We have to keep going. Yeah, I guess. Of course, I'd expect you to say that, seeing as how you agreed with him last night. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Rebecca, let me take the baby. You can light a fire inside the cannon. <laughs> no, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. You should listen to Luke. It's Rebecca's decision. I was just trying to help. What is this? Oh, thank God, it's the child. Teenager, man. Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Huh. All right. <laughs> the bronze bull was a hor it's a Hello. horrific thing your name is clementine yes hi arvo these are your friends i'm hoping you can help me now not like before all of you can help what do you need how can we help i need uh, uh things for bandages i need bandages are you hurt? No. Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Yeah, Alright. Calm the prick down. Etani? Da. Etani. Skaji im Shabani Pasavli i Aruji na bom, i što we zabirai, sure što ani ime. Što te hoće što vi atzi? Rat kuda jasna. Što bo. What did your friend say? I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? If I get excited. Clementine, you robbed this guy? Maybe we can work something out. What do you mean? What would you want us to give you? I'm sorry, Clementine. But we are not here to make deals. Buriko is saying that we will take everything. Uh, no. This can be easy for you. Arvo, skaji shabani apustili aruje. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass! We have a baby! You have a baby with you? When you create niche cover, Ribiona! 
знаю, что хорошо для тебя. Просто верни оружие сейчас. И слишком много. Курику, отойди. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking Please. shoot it. I'll do it. No. Drop it. Drop it. Don't fucking don't move. I said don't move. Ты хочешь умереть? Извини меня. Ты думаешь, что я хороший мужчина? Oh God. Опусти оружие. Теперь незачем это делать. Стреляйте. Я не хочу умирать. Feel like that would have happened anyway. Some stuff went down. Forty-six point seven percent of us shot Rebecca. Just let me know we are in the minority for that one, but uh, we were in the majority for wanting to hold the baby. Of course, we did. We're a nurturing sort of person. Um. You and 46.3% of people volunteered to crawl through. Of course we did. Why? We just, we're just, we're just so, so generous like that. Rob to Arvo. You and 51.9% of players refused to steal from Arvo. Of course we did. Like, dude has a leg brace and is a nerd. Um. Left Sarah at the trailer park. You and 41.4% of players saved Sarah at the trailer park to l allow her to later be eaten. Uh, for um, reasons. Um, okay, so that is another count for, for our kill count because we shot Rebecca in the face. Um... I don't think anyone died as a direct result of our actions. I don't think Sarah counts. Um, yeah, I think that I think that's it. I feel like Rebecca is the casualty in this episode that that matters to us. So if we could fix that on the uh, on the the uh, death counter, that would be great. If we would like to plus one there. Um. So, here we go, but just uh, minimizing that one, sorry. Okay, I'm just going to turn the volume down for that one just a little bit, especially for me. So. Not directly your fault, you shot her in the face. No, Sarah was not my fault. Directly. Rebecca was my fault. We, that, that was on us completely. <laughs> I cannot dispute that one. I don't think anyone else mattered uh, in terms of the count, like, to us. Um, I mean, obviously every death matters. Oh, no, no, no. We killed, we killed Sarita. That's that's two deaths. That's that's on us. Um So yeah, we're going to have to plus 2 to the kill count this this time. I mean, to, like to be honest, um So we killed Sarita and we killed Rebecca. And we killed uh Who did we kill? We didn't kill anyone last episode. We refused to take responsibility for what happened to Reggie. We killed someone in the episode before that. I forget who. Um. And I think we got... We... We killed someone in episode one. So I think that's... Is that four or five people? Yeah, no, I think it's four. I think we killed four people total so far. What's what's the count here? You think five? Okay, well, um, because we didn't kill Reggie. I'm. Who did we kill? I don't. I, I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> no, no. 
I refuse to take responsibility for Reggie. It's no longer up for debate because we discussed this. It's the butterfly effect. And I think my series of actions were few, too few and far between for it to be my fault specifically. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm not taking responsibility for that one. It was Lee's fault for saving me. It's true. I could have died many times over and none of this would ever have happened. So who did we who did we lose in episode one? Uh Because uh, episode one most people <laughs> so many people. Um Okay, sorry, who did we lose in episode one that was specifically our fault? Because, um... God, what's his face who died, who was dating, uh... Chris, his, his, his name's gone out of my head. Um... Omid! Omid was not quite our fault, refused to take responsibility for that one. Season two. Season two specifically. Um, Omid was not our fault. Krista is MIA. We don't know if she's dead. Um, Omid was our fault. No. No. Omid was shot by somebody else who we were talking to in a bathroom. He snuck up on her, and he got shot by her. And then she was shot by Krista. That was not on us. Uh, also, we couldn't shoot her because she had our gun. <laughs> she had our gun. We couldn't kill her. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, is it is it is it genuinely bad that I can't remember who we've killed? There's there's just been an awful lot of death this season so far, like a lot. We didn't. It's true. We didn't have an axe yet. We had a gun and like one bullet. Um. So in episode two, it was the old guy. I think we took him out, or he took himself out, or something. But. Uh, I, I don't think his death was our fault. Um, I'm sure some people died in episode two that could have been considered our fault, but, oh yeah, yeah, we killed, oh no, that was Nick's fault. Uh, Nick obviously killed Walter's boyfriend. Uh, Matthew? That wasn't us. Um... We've 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 gotten some people killed. I d I can't can't remember. I genuinely can't. I'd have to go back and watch the replays. Like who 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 did we who did we do? Um, that's so bad. I feel awful. And these are fictional characters, so I should feel less awful. But here you go. Here we are. <laughs> I only just got the Discord notification. Okay. Well, thanks, Discord. You're super helpful. Um, so yeah, episode five next week, which means, uh, uh, yeah. Um, oh yeah, we killed a dog. I think the dog counts. We, we chose to, we killed a dog. Um, I think that was our first kill. Um, <laughs> technically. Um. Yeah, just, just the dog and Sarita and Rebecca and a couple other people I've completely forgotten. And that's really bad. Um. We did kill a doggo. Um, 
pretty sure that counts as two. Yes, uh, we killed our conscience at the same time. Um, so yeah, next week we have episode five of this, and then we'll be moving on to the new one because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blitz out the Walking Dead games because I don't see why not. I'm enjoying them. You guys seem to be enjoying them. Uh, then tomorrow, I swear to God, I'm going to be doing Final Fantasy. I swear. I swear. Um, and after that, on, uh, Saturday, we are going to be doing some more Subnautica, and there's gonna be plot, I assume. I don't know. It depends. Um, but for the time being, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for coming. Sleep well when you go if it is not your bedtime. Have a great time zone, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Fairly well, people.